welcome back to my channel. And yes, you are seeing this right. This is a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt I'm rocking today. This is my roots right here. I was obsessed, and still am obsessed, with Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 back from the Sega Genesis days. So, you know, gamer people out there, shout out to Sonic. One of my favorites. This is not my only piece of Sonic apparel. So, yeah, I am wearing that. And today we're going to go over my March empties. I have a crap ton of products and not only that like the crap ton of products I have right here but I also did a blog post earlier this month yeah March that's correct um on my Mexico empties so I went to Mexico at the beginning of the month for about 11 days and I had a ton of products I used up while I was there too so those are long gone they're thrown away there's a recap on my blog but in addition to that here are all the products I finished up while I was home so Get a drink, get a snack, because it's going to be a long one. So I'm going to fly through these. If you have questions, please leave me a comment. So starting with makeup -y things, I finished up the Super Plus BB Cream by Skin79. And this is one of my favorite, well, really my favorite BB Cream ever. It definitely has a gray tinge to it, so it helps cancel out my pink undertones, which is awesome. And I think it gave a really great natural skin, kind of somewhat dewy finish. And with somebody with combination skin, I felt like I was really comfortable wearing this and I could mix it with, you know, CoverGirl Stay Fabulous or top it off with a more full coverage powder and be good for a really long day at work. So I absolutely love this product and I would totally buy it again. This is an old nail polish that dried up, but it's the Julie G Nail Polish in Bikini. And this color is phenomenal. It's just really old. It's dried out. I've already thinned it out with a nail thinner, but gosh, man, it's like this beautiful coral pink neon. I will totally buy this again. They're sold at Rite Aid stores, but unfortunately there's no Rite Aids in my area. I'm also tossing another nail polish. This one's really old. It's really separated and gross, but it's a CoverGirl sparkling top coat in gold, and it's just really disgusting. It looks like oil. It's like all separated and nasty, so throwing this out, it was just something I never reached for. I finished up this Alba Unpetroleum Lip Balm in SPF 18. It's like a tangerine kind of flavor. Really nice. It definitely left like a kind of oily feeling in my lips, so I never felt that like this sunk in like Burt's Bees or Dior Lip Glow. I mean, those are a little more thick. They have beeswax in them, but this is a nice everyday lip balm, but not my absolute favorite. It was really cheap, so I'd totally buy it again, though. I finished up a Maybelline Line Stiletto. This is the eyeliner I use every day, although I have switched to Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Liner recently. I think I might go back to this one just because it's cheap, it's really black, lasts a long time, and uh, when I want to get it off, it comes off easily. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good one from the drugstore, and it's easy to get like a cat eye flick to your eyeliner. So I think this is a great one for beginners and pros alike. And lastly, I have this e.l.f. brush. It's a really old blush brush, and the bristles, it's just been washed and used too many times. I've had this brush for at least three or four years. And it's just so scratchy, I can't use it anymore. And the hairs are just falling out. It's gross. Tossing it in the trash. Next up, I'll go into some things from the bathroom. So, Batiste Dry Shampoo. I use this every... I use a can at least once a month. I just love this. It's my absolute favorite. I've tried many, many out there. And I always go back to this one. I would be willing to try the Leopard one and the one with, like, the Union Jack on it. But this one is just my tried and true... I feel ridiculous because I buy this at Ulta when it's like buy one get one 50% off and I buy like $50 of dry shampoo at a time. It's kind of ridiculous and I'd be really embarrassed but I just told people on the internet about that. Um, but yeah, ain't no shame in my game. I love this stuff. Okay, so I finished up this silly little body splash that had been in my cupboard forever. Literally people commented on my decluttering vlog I did last year that I should just let go of things that I have to justify like how long I've had it but damn it I was gonna finish this thing and I did so it is the sheer apple blossom sheer fragrance mist from Ulta I got it on sale for $3.99 and it's small you know like a light version of Bath and Body Works sweet country apple it was just really nice to, to spray every once in a while but yeah it's a lot of ounces and it took a long time to finish so wouldn't buy it again because I'm, it's it's not really practical for my everyday life. Um, not something I would buy, but maybe a travel size to keep it work. I don't know. But yeah, not bad, but wouldn't buy again. 
So I finished up this Dr. Vita Age Renewal Face Cleanser. And this is a cleanser I got from drvita.com. I did a haul for this company not too long ago, a couple months back. This is one of the products from that haul from their own private label skincare line. And sadly, I wasn't impressed by this. It was kind of like a, a jelly-based cleanser, but it just really was watered down. Like, I felt like it didn't lather up. It didn't feel like it was cleansing my skin, taking off makeup, like, no chance. Um, it, it has some great natural ingredients, like rose hip, um, seaweed, like, these great natural pure ingredients, but it just didn't do the trick for me. And age renewal, I don't know about that. So... Not a crap brand, but not really feeling this product. Okay, a product you're probably sick of hearing every empties video and every Target haul is this product right here. It is the Up and Up Shave Gel with Soy. Favorite shave gel ever. Talk about it way too much. Try it if you're bored with skin to mint. That's all I'm going to say. So one product I did finish up kind of carrying over from my Mexico trip was this Golden Earth Fresh Aromatherapy Body Wash in Neroli. And Neroli is like a bitter orange scent. Smells really good. It definitely is an invigorating scent. Uh, not for the faint of heart. And this is a great body wash. It was a great squeeze container too. Like, I would totally buy this just for travel. This is gluten-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. It just smells really good and it's made with natural ingredients. So, what more can you ask for in a body wash besides that? Lathers well, ingredients are natural, vegan, cruelty free, and works really well. Like lathered really nicely. So totally would buy that again. Another product I have not shut up about since I discovered it is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. This stuff's amazing. And if you have Trader Joe's in your area, definitely go get your hands on this because it's amazing. It has a great convenient pop top like that and it just smells like coconut frosting. It is a fantastic body butter. It is very whipped in consistency, so it is really easy to spread and blend on your body, and it's thick, so you definitely want to give it some time to sink in, but gosh, it's really nice. It keeps my legs really hydrated and really smooth, and definitely soothes, like, sometimes I get really itchy skin or eczema or just like little breakouts I guess on my body that get really itchy and irritated but this totally soothes it and it smells so good. Another product that smells incredible is this Dr. Woods Pure Almond Castile Soap and this product is basically identical to Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap which comes in this pretty much identical container. It is made with organic shea butter and it's like a natural cleanser so it's kind of runny in consistency. I would say it's slightly thicker than Dr. Bronner's and the scent is just amazing. So I would definitely suggest this. Get your hands on it on drvita.com. It was a really great body wash and I would absolutely buy it again. Another product from Trader Joe's that I love is this Trader Jacques French Liquid Hand Soap. The scent is Orange Blossom Honey, and this is a gorgeous soap. Really nice quality for like a $3.99 price point. This product is vegan, contains no animal products. It is also made with no animal testing, and I love that it's sulfate-free because sulfate-based soaps really dry out my hands. I have extremely sensitive skin, and I have to use something that's sulfate-free or else my hands are like alligators. So, love this soap. It's gentle, lathers well, it smells amazing, and yeah, doesn't dry out my skin. Next up is another product I got in my Dr. Vita haul a couple months back. This is by the brand DaVita, and it is the Moroccan Rose Facial Toner. Now, this is like a toner in a glass bottle. It has a spritz top, and it is witch hazel based, but it has some extra like glycolic and fruit acids in it that really help like kind of amp up the toners that I'm used to. Um, it says you can mist it directly on your face, but what I ended up liking the most is putting it on a cotton pad and wiping it against my clean, freshly cleansed face. I did not care for this over makeup. I felt like it left a sticky residue. I would much prefer using a plain rose water mist for over makeup, but for just clean skin, I like this. Although, the fruit and glycolic acid helped, it, it made it stay like kind of sticky and tacky for a little bit longer than I like. So I found myself like, I don't know, putting lotion on my body while I was waiting for the toner to kind of set before I go with my moisturizer. So I wouldn't buy this again. Um, it's not a bad product, but it just is not really practical for me. I like to like 
do everything really quickly in the morning and, and at night for that matter. So a nice product but something I wouldn't buy again. Also it's not very practical for your bathroom or for travel because it's glass. So yeah. Another product I tried last month was the Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. This includes SPF 30 broad spectrum and UVA high protection. So this is from their Age Smart line and I did not like this. It was I had no idea it was tinted when I got this. I was like, oh yeah, primer. Let's try it today when I'm doing this full coverage foundation look. And it came out really tinted, so I was like, oh, oh no, not what I was looking for today, but I just went with it. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't like it. I don't know. I'm not really into like the tinted primer kind of thing. I'd rather just go with a BB cream and, you know, call it a light coverage for the day or a natural finish for the day. I just thought this was a step extra that I didn't need right now. My skin's doing pretty well. I don't need a tinted primer and then a full coverage foundation or even a foundation after that. I just like to keep it minimal. Um, primers aren't something I reach for nowadays and I definitely don't need one that's tinted. Okay, I finished up my Crest Baking Soda and Peroxide Whitening Fresh Mint Toothpaste. I talked about this in a recent haul, but if you haven't seen that, I like this toothpaste because it's the perfect balance of whitening plus mouth cleaning feeling you know what I mean so some of the whitening toothpaste I tried out there can leave you with like a really chalky taste in your mouth and you don't feel like your tongue your gums you don't feel like you're clean so I, I really like this one I find that it helps maintain my whiteness it doesn't give you you know astonishing results but I think it does help with the upkeep of your whiteness so like this toothpaste have already repurchased it finished up my up and up cotton squares. I use these every month and will always buy them. They're my favorite. I finished up the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub in Hawaiian Kukui and I absolutely love this product. It was a great scrub. Um, I cleaned that sucker out. I mean, gosh, it was so nice. It was a substantial scrub, but like this really did exfoliate my legs and my body and I have already repurchased this. I really like this. I think it might be my favorite scrub from the drugstore. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, I think it is my favorite scrub from the drugstore. You can find this at Ulta and at Target. I also finished up my Micellar Cleanser Makeup Remover Towelettes from Trader Joe's. And I really love these because they're super duper gentle. They help take off your makeup, but they're not the most strong makeup wipes in the world. I definitely like to go in with coconut oil or jojoba oil first to kind of break down mascara, eyeliner, or any stubborn makeup, and then go in with this as a secondary step to wipe it off. If you're going straight with these, you're going to have a little bit of trouble, I think, especially if you wear long wear or waterproof makeup. So keep that in mind, but the micellar is like really gentle. It doesn't sting my eyes and I have sensitive skin. So I like these, but I have another one I'll be featuring next month that you'll see very soon from Giovanni that I like, but these are really good and I will continue to buy them. I just hate that it's only 20. I wish it had 30 in a container. 20 in a container is really annoying. And lastly, I have to wrap this up quickly because my battery is flashing. So, the saint Bronzing Mousse. Now, I got this as a gift from my former roommate. She had an extra that she got in a giveaway and she gifted it to me. And I previously liked the bronzing lotion, but I had a freak accident, allergic reaction to it like right after I reviewed it. I was like, oh man, I love this product. It's great. It's all my tanning dream come true. It was my tanning dream come true until it turned into a nightmare because I broke out in the worst hives of my life. I never knew I could have an allergic reaction like that and definitely I was very scared and skeptical to try the mousse but I figured the mousse was like lighter and airier and probably had less ingredients that would permeate my skin like a lotion. I don't know. That's probably totally inaccurate but I found that I didn't have an allergic reaction as bad to this. Maybe a very mild one. I definitely itched afterwards but not by way of hives or anything like freaky like that. But anyways, I digress. I did like the bronzing mousse. It was very easy to apply, um, very quick. It dried very, very fast, much faster than the lotion. I never once had a problem with this transferring on bed sheets or pajamas or clothes for that matter or towels. So yeah, I really like this. I have bought a drugstore alternative recently, so I would buy this again in the future, but yeah, we'll see how the drugstore one goes, but yeah liked it and would consider buying it again. All right, you guys, so that's it for my March empties. I hope you liked it. Uh, apologies again if this is a super long video, but 
I hope you got some products to put on your shopping list and some products to now avoid uh, based on the feedback I've given today. I hope this was helpful. Please go check out the write-up I'll have on this on my blog, ChelseaPearl.com. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye!